Well, tonight on Tech Base, a Bank Zero started its first trial run for staff members on Tuesday after the South African Reserve Bank granted its banking license and it's successfully integrated its systems with those of the South African Reserve Bank. For more on Bank Zero and its new offering, joining us via Skype from Stellenbosch is Bank Zero Chairperson Michael Jordan. Very good evening to you, Mr. Jordan. We thank you very much for your time. Essentially, how does Bank Zero distinguish itself from other banks? Well, I'm sitting here in Stellenbosch talking to you actually over my smartphone. And it's quite amazing how many things we do today on a smartphone. And if you had to start redesigning a bank, which is what we did, we said you don't need branches, you don't need fancy head offices. You just need an app on a smartphone and voila, you can do everything you want to do. So it's going to be a smartphone app-based bank, um, also with a card because people want access to cash and they want to swipe their cards. And the big problem that we're trying to solve is that we think bank fees in South Africa are too high. So if you come at it from a smartphone perspective, most apps today are free. WhatsApp is free, Facebook is free, and Instagram is free, Twitter is free. So why should banking not also be? But other banks also have apps. So how is this app going to be different? Yes, that's very true. Most banks in the world have now added an app as one of their channels. So they'll have branches and call centers and ATMs and point of sale devices and an app. Uh, in our case, we've designed the bank from the ground up for every single thing to be built on the app. So you won't sometimes have to go into a branch to sign a form or sometimes have to phone somebody uh, to clear something up. Every single functionality is going to be based in the app and everything's going to be electronic. We don't want paper. Even something like the sign-up process will be completely electronic. And it also is, allows us to do a whole lot of new features that existing banks haven't even thought of because the entire bank isn't designed around smartphones. We've got about 14 of them. Unfortunately, I can't reveal them to you yet. That will do when we launch in mid-2019. All right. Now, just take us through the core banking platform. One would think because it's an app, because it works on your smartphone, that it would be stored somewhat in the cloud. But it's not. It's in the mainframe. Why? Yes, yeah, so we gave it a lot of thought. I mean, personally, I'm a big fan of cloud and everything is moving to the cloud. But when it came to the core banking system, for security reasons, we actually uh, chose to partner with a, a big firm, IBM, um, where we believe the encryption technology is very, very strong, particularly as a startup bank, a new bank, and one that's only based on a phone. We had to make double certain that uh, we were protecting against hackers. We think we have got a very, very secure solution. It's encrypted you know, from the server all the way through the data, all the way to the phone. Um, and we're also going to use biometrics on the phone. We obviously know where the customer is as well. So we think it will be one of the most secure banks um, mm -hmm. that has been launched, not just in South Africa, but in the world. At, at first glance, as progressive as it is, it does seem quite daunting. Customers do get frustrated when you have issues, when you have complaints. One would initially want to go to the bank and actually see that you're speaking to a banking manager, that your problems are being, are being solved, that someone is telling you that uh, you know your problem is going to be solved. So what sort of communication and what sort of security um, can clients and customers receive over the app? Yes, I think that's a fair comment. We've become used to banks um, still being in our face, being in our malls and, and shopping centers, etc. cetera. Um, at the same time, there is a new generation that is um, fluent in smartphones. Um, it's the first thing they do in the morning when they wake up, last thing in the evening before they go to sleep is be on their phone, pick it up on average 200 times a day. So I, I'm just making the point that there are people who um, are very willing to do everything with their smartphone. But clearly, you will be able to talk to us through the features on the app that we'll have. So you'll be able to send messages, emails, um, or if you really need to, you can then also talk to Bank Zero. But we hope to design our processes that they will be so easy and so intuitive that those instances where people actually have to speak to us will nearly be like flaws and we'll try and fix them as well, so as to make everything as smooth as possible for customers. And again, the same way Facebook would do it or Google would do it or WhatsApp would do it on the phone. Those are the standards that we've set ourselves. Now, of course, uh, strategic collaboration is said to play a key role at Bank Zero. Uh, some of those collaborations include MasterCard as well as IBM. Just take us through uh, the collaborations that you'll be having with them and how consumers are going to be able to benefit from that in the banking app. I mean, for us, this has been quite a long 
adventure. It's been incredibly exciting and quite tough. Um, but we do realize that as a newcomer, as a bank zero, we're up against very tough competition. I mean, the South African banking system is advanced, it's sophisticated. We're up against players that have more than 100 years of experience and customers have long histories with them. So it was important for us to also partner with big brands like IBM on the one hand. That's the security that the processing will give us and the encryption technology, as well as MasterCard. And together with MasterCard, we're designing a completely new card, a new generation EMV smart card that also will have a whole lot of functionality that we will reveal at launch. So an association with two such big brands was for us quite important also to signal stability to the customer base out there. And it will bring, as I say, a lot of new features. But then maybe the most important is um, coming back to high bank fees. Um, we haven't announced exactly what our fees will be, but um, I have said that there's a hint in our name, Bank Zero. All right. And in terms of the collaboration, let's also talk about the one with MasterCard. And Bank Zero also currently developing a new generation of card, which is said to deliver cutting edge security as well as other unique features. Of course, you've mentioned that you can't say everything, but what can you tell us with regards to uh, some of the unique features that clients can look forward to? Well, um, let me just give you an example. Anyone who uses WhatsApp these days will know that it's superior to SMS. So, for example, if you send a WhatsApp to somebody, there's one tick when you've sent it, another tick when it's arrived, and a blue tick when they've read it. Okay. This is the type of functionality that smartphones allow and how WhatsApp has improved on SMS. Now, in a similar way, we've really looked at everything in banking and said, how can we improve it? And so there are going to be improvements in our, you know, you make transfers to other people, but um, we've got some um, nice surprises up our sleeve with a card, but I'm, I'm sorry, it's just a little bit too early to reveal them right now. All right, so you, essentially this is a banking app, but you did say that uh, customers were going to be getting a card to withdraw their money. So you will then have ATMs, one would suppose. The other question then would be for consumers, how do I know that my money is safe? How is Bank Zero protecting my money? Yes, yeah, so um, we have now integrated in the South African payment system. We are now a peer bank. We transact with all the other banks as, as an equal. So our customers will have access to all the ATM networks in the country, um, as well as point-of-sale devices, uh, a new way of drawing cash that is much cheaper as to actually draw it at the point-of-sale device of retailers. So our customers will be able to do that. On top of that, um, we're going to inform them all the time of where their money is and how much interest they're earning on their money. There's some 11 million customers in South Africa that actually don't get monthly statements. Now, the interesting thing about a smartphone, of course, is that you can see your statement at any given time, um, and that's what will allow. So it will be immediate, real-time access and visibility of your money through Bank Zero. Now, speaking of money and access to money, we also believe that uh, Bank Zero is offering shares to uh, clients and consumers. Tell us about that. So we've chosen the mutual banking structure. So the license that we've been granted by the Reserve Bank is as a mutual bank. Um, and what that has made us do is think of the communities out there. So it can be a community like a stock fell or a business or a family. Uh, that's one part of the thinking. The other part is that we actually want to make shares available to our customers. So if you're a good customer at Bank Zero, um, you're going to earn um, for nothing um, a shareholding in the bank. Now, that is um, in one sense quite old fashioned. You know, that's how, let's say, the mutual building societies or mutual life insurance companies started in South Africa many years ago. But it's also quite modern. Um, quite recently, Airbnb, one of the largest uh, uh, um, companies in the world that, that arranges where people stay, has said they want to do exactly the same thing. The hosts, people that make uh, apartments and houses available on Airbnb are also going to earn shares in, in that company. Yeah. So it's an old-fashioned concept that is becoming modern again, that we want to share the benefits of our low-cost model with them also through shares. Now, for anybody watching at home that has been watching TechBase and says that I want to uh, join Bank Zero, when is the launch and when will your services be available? Yes, we've actually been inundated by people who are volunteering to test. Uh, it, it, we've really, we, we love the fact that people are so excited about Bank Zero. Um, you can see uh, more details about that on the website, should you be interested. But um, the real opening is going to be around mid-2019. And we really hope uh, to challenge the big South African banks on their fee structures and uh, 
importantly, it's not just going to be for individuals, it's also going to be for business customers. We've developed all the functionality so that it would appeal to small businesses with all their mandates and authority levels and so on. So we hope that by mid-2019, uh, we will make an impact not only for consumers in South Africa, but also for businesses and help them to save huge amounts of money on high bank fees. Definitely. We thank you very much for your time. Could possibly be the bank of the future there. Uh, no queues, no lines, um, no dreaded and overexposed banking fees. Of course, that was uh, Bank Zero Chairperson Michael Jordan.